Welcome Wei Ying to Seward, Alaska and the Alaska Sea Life Center. We're so excited to have you on our team and in this new role for us. Can you tell our friends and supporters a little bit about what a Chief Science and Education Officer is? Thanks, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here speaking with all of you in my new role as the Chief Science and Education Officer. I mean, this role represents such a significant investment from the center in terms of the growth of science and the integration of science and education. So um, in a nutshell, I mean, there are many complicated components, but in a nutshell, um, I think this role serves three key things. One is it is a connector, it is a facilitator, and it is an advocate. Right. The underlying uh, um, theory is that we bring great people together um, with different expertise. They are going to do tremendous things. Um, and that's essentially my role. I bring folks together to do tremendous things so that we can now rave and talk about it. Great. You know, one of the themes of tonight's gala is looking ahead to what is on the horizon for the center. What excites you most about this new position and the opportunities at the center as we continue our mission of ocean conservation and stewardship? That's a great question, but a huge question. Um, there are so many things I'm excited about this position that um, but I'm going to try to keep it succinct. I mean, it is such a combination of the, um, my career pathway, thinking about research, education, partnerships, network building, community engagement. So it, it, I, it is going to be difficult to choose, but I'm going to force myself to think about, um, I'll talk, I want to talk about two things. One is thinking about partnership, right? And the other one is thinking about the potential of what we can do. So um, I truly believe in the power of partnerships. And, and part, when we can bring and build these strong partnerships and bring people together, um, anything's possible. We're going to be able to do tremendous things together. Um, which brings to the whole idea of what's next. It's like at this point as an individual who has been here only for two months, I can't tell you what that vision is going to be because the power of that vision is going to happen when we collectively work on this, right? We, we bring folks from different backgrounds, different expertise, um, different walks of life to come together and begin to envision a future that works for all of us. And, what, and then we'll build it together. But so at this point, I can't tell you what that vision is going to look like, but I can tell you that it is going to capitalize um, on the uh, the kind of strengths of the, the, um, the center that we all know and love, um, that it already does amazing work, right? We know that and it's going to build on that. Um, it is going to, you know, um, leverage on the assets in our backyard, the tremendous backyard that we have. Um, and it capitalizes on a range of diverse partnerships and expertise that we have and it integrates and it will integrate traditional knowledge and technological advancements to, so that we can meet the challenges of the new millennium. And um, I'm excited about what this is going to look like. I invite all of you to join us in imagining this and building this possible new future and be part of that vision. You know, we all know that ocean conservation faces many challenges. It seems there's bad news almost every day. There's climate change and warming waters, declining fish stocks, on and on. But in that, in that uh, challenge, and there's opportunity and hope. And after all, hope is what brings us to work every day. So what would you like to leave our friends with tonight that can inspire continued support and encourage the next generation of ocean conservationists out there? Yeah, that's a great question. And I want to point out that um, hope and optimism at this point, I know we are seeing a lot of things to be frustrated and uh, despair about on an almost daily basis, right? But I think the hope and optimism is not going to come from a place of naivete. Um, it truly is, there is evidence as to why we should be hopeful for the future. Because in addition to the good work that we are seeing scientists and you know experts do, what we are also seeing is across the across our communities, across the nation, across the globe, we are seeing more people than ever engage in conservation action, right? Be part of the civic um, society um, and participate. So for example, we are seeing that zoos and aquariums, AZA organizations across the US, which host um, more than 100 million visits a year, 
And I want to point it out that it, that represents more than the combined attendance of the major sports in, um, in the U.S. So uh, the, these zoos and aquariums with, the, you know, with this in, immense reach that they have are actively engaging um, their communities in participating in saving animals from extinction, in saving, um, you know, making habitats better and um, kind of building their community. So a lot of things is happening on that front. We're also seeing more youth than ever, you know, being actively engaged in shaping the policies and actions that will influence the future of the planet that they are inheriting. And finally, but not least, we're also seeing the rising voices of BIPOC, you know, black, indigenous, people of color communities that, you know, that are, um, who are disproportionately affected by climate change, rising, you know, the rising voices helping chart a future to, a, to climate justice. And so I'm excited about what is possible and the, the future is hopeful. And I ask of you all to imagine how would you be part of this transformational change that is upon us, right? How will you be part of the solution? Um, join us, be part of the conversation, help us shape that future. I invite you all to be with us or to join other you know, partners that are out there um, in being able to shape this possible future. Thanks, Wei Ying, and welcome aboard. I know our supporters are eager to join us and work together with our dedicated team to meet this conservation challenges and opportunities for the future. It's great to have you with us.